Hello and welcome to a brief introduction to Surveyor. To get started, enter the Routes menu and choose Create Route. Set your region as desired and hit OK to get rolling. Use the left and right arrow keys to rotate the camera, up and down to tilt the camera. Right click and drag to reposition the compass. Manipulate terrain with the hide up and down tools, adjusting the radius and sensitivity as you go. Paint water over a depression and set the depth with the water height tool. To level an area, right click on the terrain with the get height tool and then switch to the use height tool. Add more baseboards with the Add Ground button. Click that and then just click where you want more land. Displacement brushes can give height tools some irregular details. This Kung Fu is strong, so be gentle with the sensitivity. To return the brush to its original state, set the choice of brush to None. Now let's look at the Paint tab, where you'll see a selection of the available ground textures. Enter the content search panel and remove the default filter to reveal additional content. If you choose some favourite textures and drag them to the pick list, they'll be easy to find whenever you want them. Adjust the brush rotation occasionally as you go to make the result more interesting. For smaller details, experiment with the brush size and scale factor. Now open the Scenery tab. You can also drag favourite objects to the pick list for your convenience. Use the Add tool to place objects and the Move, Rotate and Object Height tools to experiment with different positions. Long bendy things are called splines. Click on the ground to get one started. Click again somewhere to end it. Click an existing spline point to continue a spline. Holding shift as you click will prevent spline points from snapping together. The smooth spline tool will help you settle splines into the terrain more neatly. Lay track using the same process. Sections can be straightened as you like and you can adjust the height of track points to begin working with gradients. Junctions are created by clicking on the track and diverging as desired. Hold shift while clicking to prevent track points snapping together. The straighten track tool is your friend here also. Add more track points as necessary to achieve the alignment you're looking for. The copy and paste feature is a little ripper. You can choose which elements you want to include and then select an area to copy. Enter paste mode to use the arrangement repeatedly. To place trains, simply select one and click on the track. Use the Edit Properties dialog to set details such as road numbers. Vehicle mode affects individual vehicles. Switch to Compsys mode to affect a rake of vehicles. Finally, time for a preview. Save your work and enter Quick Drive. This menu is handy for setting a number of variables. Use it to conveniently view and operate your route under a variety of conditions.
So that's all for now, folks. We hope you've enjoyed this introduction to Surveyor. Give it a go. You'll get the hang of it. <laughs>